When I was nine years old, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I want to make funny, funny plush videos. Because since I became a big fan of plush videos, thanks for one of my favorite YouTubers, Mario Maniac 123. But then, it did happen. 2012. Except the videos we did in 2012 were not that good. So we deleted them. And never came back until two years later. In 2014. And we named ourselves QT EV. Except it's with an EY instead of an IE. And me and my sister, we had an amazing no time doing this channel. Yeah, oh, Every video that we actually we made are just so back. much memories of 2014. They're just so very well done memories that we did. But then, on August of 2014, the Chromebook broke. The Chromebook is this camera that we actually, because you know it has a camera with it, is basically the only thing that we actually that I use to record stuff with when I'm making videos. Sometimes I use my sister's phone, but other times it's just a Chromebook. And after that, we do not know what to do. My sister gave up making plush videos and I don't have a camera. And I think at the time I actually lost the uh, QD EV account. And for a while, I never made a video ever since. Until our big return came. In September of 2015, my sister created me another account called Black Yoshi. Now, for a while, I just, you know, like, use it to subscribe and just, you know, like, you know, watch videos and all that stuff. But then for a while, I noticed I literally been getting so much subscribers. Like, I was in the 20s, and I was like, holy crap. Like, how the heck am I getting so much subscribers? But then I noticed something. The channel is called Black Yoshi. And if there's, like, a name that's called Black Yoshi on YouTube, then, yeah, that's definitely subscriber-worthy. Like, just put Nintendo names, like, to get subscribers. Like, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Zelda, Link, Bowser, you name it. And then, just get subscribers, even without making a video. But then, I got so big fandoms of the Lost Narrator. So, I later called the channel called the Lost Narrator Number One Fan. And for a while, yeah, that got even much better. But then, of course... I wanted to make my big return, my big old return. Originally, it was going to be 2016 or maybe 2017. I don't know when I was going to return, but I was just planning on it. And originally, I was going to do a found footage series to begin with. And that, of course, is more of a face hugger. And then I was like, oh, I really want to make a big return. So what I did, I literally borrowed my dad's phone and literally recorded a three-part series of my return called the return of black yoshi and since then it got a little less subscribers but when i actually called my channel later thunder a thunder wolf but then after that qt ev2 that was the name and still in the name for now on and since then i got big i got big subscribers i got to like 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 you name it i was like i was the top of the world making so much great videos to beginning and end it is just a great time but then something bad happened something bad happened that changed my life forever and that's why I'm making this I am making this documentary to tell you the story of how my channel came to an end and that day my friend was not just any day it was the worst day ever
So, where to start? Um, so, this whole thing all began, I think, June or July. I really can't tell when this whole thing began. But what I remember was I was just scrolling around my phone and stuff. And then I went to my my gmail and apparently i got another copyright warning i was like oh my goodness gracious what did i do now Ugh. because for the past darn years i've gotten so much copyright troubled and it freaking bugs me every single time even till this day but it is youtube so yeah you know what they are you know what they do and yeah you can understand that but then I read the whole entire article. It, it wasn't a copyright warning. It wasn't just one of those little things you posted a video and then boom, you just got copyright and the video is not there on YouTube anymore for everyone to see it. It was a copyright strike. And it was on the RIP Brody Lee video. It was a video that I posted like somewhere in December, but I did expect that many months later I will get a strike on this. And this was actually the start of where AEW actually gives people copyright strikes if they actually if we actually use AEW content. So what I did for safety, I deleted every single AEW video that showed the TV screen. And the only one that did not show the TV screen was the video that I uh, watched um, Brody Lee and um, Matt Hardy's debut. That was the only one that I did a show the screen. And I was kind of a little bit terrified, but kind of forgotten about it. And since then, just learn my lesson and just don't do that again. But this was the start of the end. It was August, and I was actually doing the same thing. I was just scrolling, and then I went to my Gmail, and then I saw another copyright warning thing. But then, I looked, and I swear, when I saw what it was, my heart literally just, just went cold. And, apparently, I've gotten another copyright strike. And it was from the Ed's Are Here video, the alien special thing. And I actually did expect it because I actually had an Ed and Nettie video that was banned. But I did expect that I was going to get a copyright strike from the company that made Ed and Nettie. So I did exactly what I did from AEW, except this time every video, all the three videos. Like this time, all the two life videos that did not actually got a copyright. So, that was it. And, but I was just so terrified. I was worried. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I was like, what the frick am I going to do? I was so terrified. And since then, after that, I literally made a video on this whole situation on YouTube and on TikTok. So, after that, I literally took a break. Came back and, of course, kind of a little bit forgotten about it and just really been careful ever since. But then the day happened. <sighs> On September 1st, 2021, I woke up. And I was just hastily going to YouTube and watch Dragon Ball stuff. And then my YouTube would have worked. And I didn't know what the actual heck. I thought maybe it's like some glitch or something. Like, you know, those little YouTube glitch thing that YouTube's been happening for quite a while. I think you might know what I'm talking about. But the point is, I don't know what the heck is happening. So then I had a thought. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, 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 no. How the, wait, wait, no, 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 don't tell me I got it. But then I looked at Gmail and I literally got it. And I swear, 
I was so paranoid, so terrified, I just couldn't even believe that I literally gotten a third copyright strike. And I was like, what did I do? But then I looked at the video, what the title of the video I got from, it's my Pumpkin Corporation video. And now it's like, wait a minute. It's like, I didn't use anything. I didn't use copyright materials. Like, what did I do? But then I saw the person that claimed it. Because, like I said, because here's one thing. If you get a strike, it actually shows you the people that gave you the strike. Like, Brody Lee's video, it was AEW. And then Nanny's was the company that, that made it. And then Nanny. But this one is crazy. It's on a YouTuber known as Savage Veggie. If some of you guys don't know, Savage Veggie is a very popular YouTuber that started way back in 2010 or 2011. When they started making videos, they only did vlogging and nature videos. But then later, they turned their whole entire channel into, well, an annoying orange parody channel. And I'm going to say this, guys, but I recommend you go check this channel out. It is so amazing. Like, if you miss the glory days of Annoying Orange by, you know, basically using actual fruit and literally smashing them into pieces. Yeah, those are the days I'm talking about. And this, and this channel will make you so super happy. They stopped for a while, but then they later came back in 2015 and retitled their channel to, well, Savage Veggies. I forgot what they used to be called because like I said, they used to do vlogging and nature videos. But their food videos were so freaking popular. So instead, they have been doing them ever since. Like ever since their return. And they never change a single bit. My favorite videos from their return has got to be their Walking Dead parody from 2017. And I'm going to say this guys, if you are Walking Dead fans... These videos would yeah, definitely oppress you, especially they turned Negan into a freaking rabbit that became their profile pic. That's right guys, he's a rabbit. He acts like the same, but he's a rabbit. And when you see it, it is freaking goofy as heck. Matter of fact, it's actually inspired me to actually do the uh, Negan series on my YouTube channel. Until the termination, but don't worry, I'll still do them. So, yeah, so, if you're going to be asking how the heck did I literally got in a strike from them, it's because of this. The video that got me the third strike was my Pumpkin Corporation video. And the reason why? Well, let's just say I used one of their videos, and that, of course, is their Pumpkin Chainsaw Massacre video, aka the video that I got introduced from them. But the real reason why I did it, it's because of this. When I was making that video, the Pumpkin Chainsaw Massacre video was actually gone. Yeah, it was gone. It, like, it just, like, disappeared. It's like they put it on private. Luckily, it did came back. But at the time, it was gone. So I had to go, like, find a different way to find the video. And I think I used a website or someone re-uploaded. I, I cannot really remember. But then now, years later, they gave me the strike. And this is just, like, crazy. Like, I was like, oh, shoot. I totally forgot about that video. <laughs> So what we did, my mom actually sent me, sent them a letter because I found out that they could actually basically, basically get rid of the strike. Basically, I forgot what it was called. I think it was re something, but what it is basically you press that button and of course the strike disappears. And that means, that means basically that my channel will definitely come back. But did you really think that they're gonna they're gonna reply back? Nope. Even when I comment them down, you think they actually uh, they read my comment on uh, one of their videos? No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. But then, hours later, I was literally just so just waiting and waiting, waiting for a sign, and I was. 
went to Gmail to see if they did it, but I didn't see anything from them. But then I saw another copyright thing on. And oh my God, my heart literally shattered when I saw it. That apparently my channel, QDEB2, literally got terminated. And a matter of fact, two of my sister's YouTube channels as well because they're connected to to my uh, to my um, Google account. And I just could have believed it. My heart literally shattered. And a matter of fact, there were some times I literally almost cried. It's just like, oh my God. It's like, it's over. All the things that I did are gone. So there you go guys, that was it, that was the whole entire story, that was the whole entire freaking story, what happened three days ago, September 1st, 2021, the day that I lost QTEV2, the day that I have lost all the things that I worked on, all the great videos that I've been doing over the years, and not just that, all of my subscribers. I was in the 800 zone. I was 800, I don't know, 50 or something like that, and it's just gone. All the stuff that I've been doing are gone. Now, I am not mad at YouTube. And not just that, I am not mad at myself. I am literally mad at Savage Veggies. They could have just told me about the video. They could have just asked me to delete the Pumpkin Corporation video, and I would have done it. But instead, they gave me that third strike and literally made me lose everything that I've been doing for so many years. And I know they actually did not know I have gotten two strikes. But still, I really wish they would have just asked me before they literally do the strike. And boom, it would have been much better. But no, they literally made me lose everything that I loved so much. And since that thing happened, I was really was thinking of retiring, making videos, but I just can't. Cause one, I just love doing what I do. And second, um, I was talking to my cousin Blue Sheep and she said, if I retire, she retires. And I don't want her to retire. But I love her. I love when she reacts to my videos. They're just so amazing. Like her reactions of all the stuff. They're just so amazing. My best friend Luna from TikTok. She sent me this comment when I told everyone the news. She said, hey, listen to me, bud. You're one of my best buddies I've ever met. We've been buddies for a year now. Don't ever give up who you are. I love you, best bud. And I gotta say this, bud. He's right. Even though my YouTube channel is terminated forever, guess what? I am not going to stay down. I am not going to freaking give up right now, okay? Even though that my new YouTube channel is about like five subscribers, guess what? I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more freaking subscribers, all right? I'm gonna do it for everyone. I'm gonna do it for my family. I'm gonna do it for my friends. I'm gonna do it for all the fans all around the world. It is time for my return. It is time for my redemption. It is time to be who I am. My name is QDV2, and this is QDV2 signing out.